This is FlexCork, and it's so easy to use. FlexCork is a new high-performance hybrid polymer cork in a pressurized can. So now, you don't need a caulking gun. This advanced hybrid formula is fully paintable, UV chemical and mildew resistant. It won't shrink or crack and lasts for years. Make sure to read all the directions on the back of the label. You'll find important information on preparation, application, cleanup, and storage. Before you start caulking, remove any old caulk by using a tool that won't damage the surface, like a plastic putty knife. Also, make sure the area is clean and free of any grease, dirt, or debris. To start using flex caulk, remove this safety tab, and then remove the snap and save cap. You don't have to cut the nozzle because our nozzle is pre-cut and ready to go. If you look closely at the top of the red trigger flow nozzle, you'll see the words min and max. By turning the trigger flow nozzle one way or the other, you'll be able to adjust the flow of the caulk. As you turn the trigger flow nozzle towards min or max, you'll see the trigger open and close. As you turn towards the max, the trigger flow becomes wider and the flow becomes stronger. When you turn the trigger flow nozzle all the way past the minimum position, it's now in the off position and nothing will come out. A common mistake is when you're trying to use the caulk and nothing is coming out, it may be in the off position. Always make sure that the trigger flow nozzle is extended wide open and out from the can. When the trigger flow nozzle is all the way open like this, you'll get a strong flow of caulk. And as you turn the trigger nozzle towards the minimum position, it reduces the flow of the caulk. It's that easy. The size of the bead is based on two things, the amount of flow and the speed you move as you caulk. As you can see, if you move slowly, you'll get a thicker bead. And if you move more quickly, you'll get a thinner bead. For a perfect bead, hold flex caulk at a 45 degree angle. Push the trigger and start moving your hand. Always use a smooth, even motion. You can smooth out flex caulk with your fingers or a tool up to 10 or 20 minutes after applying. Depending on temperature and humidity, flex caulk will start to form a skin in 10 to 20 minutes and fully cure in approximately 12 to 24 hours. And when you're done caulking, just replace the snap and save cap. When you want to clean up any uncured flex caulk on the surface or on the nozzle, do not use water. Always use a clean, dry cloth, rag, or paper towel. Also, mineral spirits and denatured alcohol can help speed up the process. Our snap and save cap will help keep your flex caulk fresh. However, if the caulk does dry out inside the white nozzle, you can always unscrew the nozzle, clean it out, and screw it back on. This will allow you to continue caulking. Always store flex caulk in a cool, dry environment. As you near the end of the life of the can, the caulk will start to come out much slower. Make sure the trigger flow nozzle is on max and wide open. If nothing still comes out, the can is empty. Well, that's how you use flex caulk. Now you're set for flexess.